Hey friends! Alright, so I'm excited about today's video because it's sort of a continuation of a video that I did two years ago now. I was big and pregnant with Isaiah. <laughs> it's always fun to look back at videos and see the boys as they've grown. And anyways, I was pregnant and I shared seven easy swaps that you can make in your kitchen to add more charm. And I'm not talking about like renovations here or new cabinets or new flooring or new backsplash. Sometimes we just can't do those things. Maybe it's not in the budget. Maybe it's just not the right timing. Maybe you're renting a home, whatever it is, but you can add some things that will make your kitchen feel a little bit more charming, more cozy, add some character. And I am excited to share those things with you today. So. Uh, what I love about a lot of these items is that they are practical and a lot of them are things that you would use. Some of them are decorative, but a lot of these things are items that you can actually utilize and use in your kitchen space, okay? I want to start off by saying that this video is sponsored by Caraway. Caraway is on a mission to craft well-designed home goods that thoughtfully raise the standard of what to cook with. Simply put, Caraway pots and pans are designed to make life easier and healthier. So there are so many reasons why I love these Caraway pots and pans. And I will say that for about a year now, I've been using cast iron. You guys know that our family does um, our best to eat whole foods. We try to live a pretty um, all natural lifestyle, avoiding toxins in our homes and things like that. I love cooking with my cast iron, but there are certain things. For example, a lot of people say that you shouldn't cook like red sauce in cast iron because of the acidity. Um, there are some debates about that. And so there are just some things that are a little bit easier with a nonstick surface. And I'm so thankful and happy that this company created a pan that is non-toxic, first of all. It's made without PFAs, PTFEs, lead, all of those chemicals that you are not able to pronounce. <laughs> Caraway is free of those. Pots and pans are also non-stick. And I love that they are so beautiful and they come in a variety of different colors. So I chose to go with the classic cream color. You guys know I'm pretty much a neutral lover. I love pops of color, I really do. But I chose to go with something timeless like cream. And I love the fact that these pots and pans are so beautiful that I can just leave them out on my stove top and I really don't even have to put them away. But the great thing about these is that they do come with an awesome storage system for organization. They've got these little magnetic uh, holders that you can kind of click them together in your cabinet and store all of your pots and pans. And I love that. There's also like a canvas uh, sheet like with envelopes and it comes with these sticky pads that you can stick to the inside of your cupboard to store the lids. So it's just genius, really. So if you're looking for a safe, non-toxic, beautiful option for cookware for your home, I would highly recommend Caraway. You can get 10% off with my special code that'll be in the description below. Make sure you head down there and check it out so you can go take advantage of this amazing offer. I am so in love with these pots and pans. They're so beautiful and I really am so excited to incorporate them into my cooking. So if you haven't caught the first portion or the, or the part one, I guess you could say, of this, you know, what do we call this, A series? I don't know. You can go check it out. I'll put the link here or I'll, I'll add it below. Um, so there's lots of fun things in that list that we talk about, like even as simple as switching your soap um, and putting it into a cute little dispenser like this, using cute little scrub brushes instead of like, you know, a, a lime green sponge, stuff like that. Um, but today we're, we're jumping off and we're sharing even more items to add to that list. So the very first thing that I thought of that I've talked about lots of times on my channel, no matter what your style is, I think that copper can add some really beautiful warmth to any kitchen, no matter the style. But I'm sure most of you, if you're watching my channel and you <laughs> enjoy seeing how I decorate and my style, um, you probably sort of enjoy similar things. Um, and I would highly recommend looking for copper. People ask me all the time, 
I just, I go to the thrift store and I don't know what to look for. So get out a notepad and write some of these things down. Copper, most of mine has been thrifted over the years or picked up at antique shops for very little. Uh, I recently just picked up a new piece for just $12 at an antique shop. So you can find good prices antique shopping as well as thrifting. The second thing that I would tell you to look out for when you're thrifting or antique shopping that adds so much charm to a kitchen is peg racks. I have a little one here that I thrifted for $2 years ago. It's been painted a few colors over the years, but I am always looking at the thrift store for little peg racks that I can utilize throughout my home. And what's awesome about peg racks is that they are so useful. You can hang linens, baskets, all types of different things. Um, I just hung some downstairs in our basement that I am hanging um, like a broom and a dustpan on. I, uh, I have just, I have put pegs all over my home. So that's what I was gonna say. If you can't find a peg rack, you can always make your own and get some pegs on Amazon um, and just buy a one by four common pine board and make your own and paint it. And it's so charming and so beautiful. So number three would be, one of my newest little obsessions, I guess, are these adorable little garlic baskets. So we cook with a lot of garlic. <laughs> we love garlic. Um, sometimes when we feel like I, I have a cold coming on, I will just eat raw garlic mixed with honey. <laughs> I love keeping a lot of garlic on hand. It just adds so much flavor. But recently my mom gave me these cutie little garlic baskets. And now when, I, when I'm shopping at thrift stores and I see them, I, they're so, always so cheap, like a quarter. And I don't need any more, but I keep buying them. So I have quite the collection right now. I think I have one, two, three, four, five of them. <laughs> Nobody needs that many garlic baskets, but they're so darn cute. Baskets in general, I didn't mention that in my first video, but baskets in general add texture, warmth, color. I love it when people like hang them from their ceiling, uh, which is what I did with some of my garlic baskets. Of course, I have larger baskets above my refrigerator um, and I store some things in there. It's great for storage. So definitely keep an eye out for beautiful baskets. So in my first video, one of the things I mentioned was to look out for stoneware bowls. I have a lot of them in my kitchen. I have some stacked actually next to my mixer, but today I want to talk specifically about little crocs. So little and big crocs. I think crocs are so pretty and they add so much charm and they're perfect for storing things like wooden spoons, um, rolling pins, whisks. I mean, so many different things. And I am always, when I shop at thrift stores and antique shops, looking for Crocs at an affordable price. Number five on my list, another thing that I think would add a ton of charm to your kitchen is a simple one. And I would say to look for an old stool or even an old bench. I have little ones, four little boys that love to be in the kitchen with me. And I think that almost everyone probably has some type of step stool in their kitchen. And rather than getting like a new white plastic one, look for one that's antique or vintage. It'll add so much charm and you can leave it out all the time. You don't have to store it away. Number six on my list for adding more charm and character to your kitchen is to look for places where you can maybe hang some dried herbs or flowers. I really love to study historic homes and, and see what they would have done, how they would have displayed things. And I always see dried herbs, dried flowers hanging in these old kitchens. And I think it is so beautiful this year um, in the winter time, I shared with you guys that I actually went outside and clipped some boxwood. Now, as far as I know, <laughs> um, drying boxwood would really only be for decorative purposes. But I'm telling you what, when I hung that up this winter in January, it just brought life to my kitchen space. Um, you could do this with so many different things. If, you know, if you've got some fresh flowers, instead of throwing them out, turn them upside down, hang them up in your kitchen. And the spring and summertime, when those herbs start to fill your garden, I love growing herbs in the summertime and they look so beautiful hung to dry. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna share with you that I think has added just so much coziness to our kitchen and charm is a lamp. And recently I had the opportunity to go antique shopping with my husband and look at this little cutie lamp that I found. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. 
it's like an old piece of pottery and I don't know if somebody added the lamp later. It has this little chain here. The shade, it's a little wobbly. <laughs> the shade I think would be really cute if I added like a new shade with fabric. I don't know if you guys have seen those tutorials where you can kind of add your own pleated shade, but I just love the pop of color. It adds a cozy glow on a cold winter night in my kitchen and I just love having it here. So I would say to look out for a little lamp for your kitchen. And speaking of cozy glows, I love, love having candles in my kitchen, especially when I'm cooking, when it gets dark at night, I love cooking by candlelight. And I shared these in my last video, these flameless candles with the button on bottom, they're perfect and you can see it glows like a like a real candle. It even has like this waxy finish. But look for little candle holders. I love to use flameless because I have little ones that are always they just they always want to reach for the flame and grab the flame and it just makes mama a little nervous. These make me feel a little bit better. <laughs> I've said this before and I swap out pieces of artwork all the time, but adding artwork to your kitchen if you have an empty wall I'm still looking for the perfect piece for right here. I have a basket hanging there now. But if you have some empty wall space in your kitchen, some artwork is so beautiful in a kitchen space. And actually, I've even put artwork just on my countertop, leaned up against the backsplash. Um, actually, sometimes they come in handy because they can hide wires. So if you have like a mixer plugged in or a lamp like I just shared, um, the artwork itself sort of you can layer items and sort of hide wires so you can do that with cutting boards as well the next thing that I would say that adds charm to your kitchen is sort of a generic one but I would just say look out for vintage kitchen tools in general a lot of times when you visit thrift stores they have like a big uh, plastic bin of kitchen items and you sort of have to do some digging. And I have found some of the coolest pieces at thrift stores. But another thing that I would add is to maybe just ask your grandma. <laughs> and if you are a grandma, <laughs> maybe you've already had items passed down to you, but I have had some of the coolest items passed down to me from my grandmothers. Do you guys remember this thing? <laughs> this is my grandmother's. Made in the USA, St. Louis, Missouri, for uh, churning butter. So, how cool is that? I still want to try to make butter with my boys. I've been reading the Little House on the Prairie books, and I think that would be a really cool homeschool project. So that's from the grandma on my dad's side. Um, and then the grandmother on my mom's side, uh, who's passed away now, <laughs> This was, I have tons of these guys. My boys love using these, but they're just fun to put out on display. Like I said, you can use those old Crocs, stick items like this in there. One thing that I have been on the lookout for, I want a vintage coffee grinder, but they are expensive. They're really expensive. Um, especially if you want one that's like cleaned up, you know, it's not too nasty on the inside. <laughs> so that's kind of my, what I've been looking for. I think it would be so cool just sitting out on the counter, but just incorporating vintage kitchen items um, and putting them on display in your kitchen if you're able, able to add so much charm and character to a kitchen. So I would say look out for those as well. But in my last video, when I sort of talked about this, one of the things that I emphasized was how everyday items can be beautiful. You know, we were talking about the soap, for example. I do a lot of dishes um, and I want the items that I use to be beautiful. I've heard people talk about this before, sort of romanticizing those everyday tasks. Instead of like fighting against it and just being angry about it or bitter about it or feeling like all I do all day is, you know, dishes. When we accept it instead, and embrace that calling, we can be such a great light to our families. And so I think that all of these different items that we have in our kitchen, they can truly make our job so much more beautiful. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope all of these items sort of inspired you. I hope they gave you some ideas. You know, the next time you're out thrifting or antique shopping, uh, look around and keep some of these items in mind so that you know what to look for 
and they really will add so much beauty and charm and character to your kitchen. It's been a long road for us. Our kitchen has sort of changed slowly over time as we've added one more element, two more elements. And I have a whole video about that if you are looking for more permanent solutions. Things like corbels and backsplash and, you know, the sink that we chose and adding beams, uh, a stone accent wall. We've done all of those things as well, but it was a sl it was slowly over time. We've lived in our home for 10 years. And uh, so it didn't happen overnight. But if you are on a tight budget, some of these fun items will really change the look of your kitchen and add so much character. So I hope this has helped you today, friends. And don't forget to check out the description below so you can get my unique code for 10% off of those caraway pots and pans. You don't wanna miss out on this offer. I know you guys are gonna love these. Thanks again for watching. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.